In our first test, using the Chinese circuit boards sent to us by the engineers in Hong Kong, we used a lower velocity 38 special and a higher velocity 9mm. Now remarkably, the plates did a very good job of stopping the 38 special. The 9mm at that much higher velocity went right through the plates. When dealing with safety equipment, even something as goofy as this, it's important to know what its limitations are. Since so many people did not understand why we were using a 10 inch barrel to propel the 9mm bullets, let me explain. First of all, we have no idea what type of ammunition they're using in Hong Kong. I can assure you there is 9mm ammunition out there that will reach 1400 feet per second or even faster. Now second, we know what kind of weapons they use in Hong Kong. Now these are chambered in either 38 Special or 9mm. Since they carry the H&K MP5, which has a very similar velocity as in our test, not including the possibility of being shot with an MP5 would have been pretty irresponsible of us. Now one also has to remember that the 38 Special and the 9mm, the bullets themselves are quite similar. So in our test, we were just comparing two very similar bullets at two different velocities. Now a lot of people forgot that we used these same exact parameters when we were testing out the, what we call the sketchy eBay Kevlar body armor. Now despite being a non-branded, no-name, non-certified piece of body armor, this stuff actually worked pretty well and, and actually performed as promised. Since we kept the parameters the same, we were able to compare the performance of this Kevlar versus the Chinese circuit boards. All right, top Raider folks, you saw the last video where Jeff used a two-inch snubby revolver. It was Shot Danny. I mean, okay. okay, Danny. That's all. Danny, Jeff is interchangeable. Um, Danny used his two-inch uh, snubby revolver and fired a 38 special round at about 800 feet per second, and he hit this uh, six-millimeter fiberglass plate. And did it work? It bounced off. It bounced off it like Ding. it was. It was. It was amazing. Then he used out of a 10-inch barrel. He used a 9mm hardball and fired the thing at about 1,400 feet per second, and... It went right it? through it like butter. Yeah, yeah. It zapped right through it. So what we're going to try to do is kind of spread the, or split the difference here. We've got a 9mm hollow point, Federal HST. Um, it's running, we just chronographed it at 1144 feet per second. So we're going to give us a try and see if kind of smack dab in the middle of those two speeds. Is there any uh, is there any magic point that we can stop this in this fiberglass plate? So. And and it turns out these plates are from China. They're a, a like a, a circuit board basically. I think people have called it G10. I don't know what it, it's actually actually is. It's it's some kind of a fiberglass resin insulator more or less yeah. pretty, used for circuit boards and insulator. Tough, tough stuff. It's it is tough. You can see Doug's protesting. So yeah, Doug's protesting getting hit with it. So let's give it a try. Okay. Let's see what we can do. What do you, do you think it's going to go through or not? I'm betting this goes through. 1144 I, feet per second. It is a uh, it is a hollow point, but it's got some uh, it's got a little oomph behind it. So. Yeah, it's 124 grain. 124 grain. Federal Very HST. close to 130 grain, which was what the. 38 special about the same caliber yeah you know that? but but moving quite a bit half again faster right right okay i'm ready when you are all right here we go i see debris so i don't know if you can see back in there but there is, uh, there is through and through. It went right through that fiberglass. You can take it off if you want. It um, went right through the back of that. Tore a hole. This was a brand new shirt. So, and then Doug's got a hole in him. That appears to be the one since it's got fiberglass residue in it. Yep. This one's eight millimeters thick. So thicker than our last one by two more millimeters. Yep. What's your prediction? You think it's going to go through or stop? <sighs> it went through the other one pretty easy. So I think it'll go through this one. All right. Okay, I'm ready. Let's give it a try. Here we go. And check this out. We 
you do have pass through. We have a little bit of uh, fiberglass that's kind of like bonded to his shirt. And what's that hanging right there in the front, Jeff? Is glad that the you, whole bullet? Glad you asked. That is the bullet. Here's a little fragment. Is it just is it the jacket or the? Well, the jacket's here, and yes. Ah, uh, okay. We've got uh, lead fragments here too. There's the bullet. It's just the jacket, That's, though. This is just the jacket. You can see where the actual lead part is uh, jacketed in there. Yep. And the lead shards are out here, so none of the bullet actually, I don't believe, made it into Doug. It more or less just scuffed him right here. It's very close, though. Yeah, I, yeah. Wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be. Yeah. I wouldn't want to rely on 8 millimeters. Okay, we're on plate number C. <laughs> number C. <laughs> number C. Yeah. People, a few people caught that last time. <laughs> Got to throw those Easter eggs out there. Uh, this is plate C. It is 10 millimeters thick. Again, the Chinese plate. And these plates cost only about $5 each. That's, that's the crazy part. Very cheap and already made. You don't have to make, use welding blankets or whatever other crazy concoctions people are throwing at us. They want stuff that's already made. Yeah. And cheap. And that's, there you go. And it's from China. It's <laughs> You don't even have to ship it because it's from China. <laughs> yeah, true. So, uh, Probably still takes, you know, two months to get you yeah. get to Hong Kong, you know. Let's see if a standard 9 millimeter will go through 10 millimeters of it. Four more millimeters of thickness. Yeah, this is thicker. Right. That's, what's your guess? Yep. 10 is definitely thicker than 6. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My guess, um, I'm going to guess that it passes through. Okay, know. okay. It's, it's getting a little more iffy, but I'm, I'm still going to go with pass-through on this. We'll see. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. Plate number C, 10 millimeters <laughs> thick. I was wrong. Nine millimeter round hit right there. It wanted to bust through, but it did not make it through. Awesome. So uh, you'll probably be able to see in the slow in the in the slow motion camera, it uh, hit in there and probably ejected itself right back out. So yeah, that's awesome. That's nuts. See, this is good information now. 10 millimeters. So, did, you probably still did something wrong, according sure. to somebody on the internet, though. Of course. Yeah. Just read below. You'll you, find you, out what you weren't holding that. your pinky properly. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh, you weren't holding it like Hitch, been, Hitchcock 45. Been shooting guns for 42 years. Yep. Didn't do it right. This this is a plate that the Hong Kong engineers made themselves using a vacuum whatever technique. Jesus, my vacuum doesn't make those. Yeah. After they made these they came to the realization that what they had made was basically what they could buy in China for five dollars already made. Jeez. Yeah, save you some time. Yeah. So, good job, Hong Kongers. So, if you can buy it for five dollars and don't have to make it, and anyone can just buy it, that's a plus. That's yeah. the amazing part. Well, let's see. It's eight millimeters. Let's see if it's as tough as the Chinese eight millimeter. Right. I am ready. All right, here we go. Can you explain? So we hit right here. You can kind of see, the first thing I noticed when I walked up was it was delaminating itself right here. Sort of spread, and then check this out. Oh, eight, eight millimeters of Hong Kong fiberglass. There's a very slight bulge there, but it did not go through. The Hong Kong eight millimeters stopped it. The Chinese eight millimeters did not stop it. Right. However, there's a very slight bulge here. That tells me that if there was any more energy or even weight to the round, probably would have got a little pass through right there. So. Yep. If or if you shot it at out of a MP5 at a higher yes, velocity, which probably. would be about. 1400 feet per second, right? Yeah, you probably push it right out of there. And a lot of people didn't realize that 
when I did the test with Danny, it was the same test we did with the eBay Kevlar using that 10 inch barrel. Yeah. Welcome back to OG's Fireside Chat. Hey, so uh, we, you've shot all these, we've shot all these with a 38 with 9mm and now you've seen a, a little bit slower 9mm. So we pretty much established a good threshold here, uh, demonstrating that 6mm of this fiberglass stuff, even, even if it's the Hong Kong version, not enough. 10 millimeters of the Chinese plate is enough on these 9 millimeter rounds, the slower 9 millimeter rounds. And uh, 8 millimeters, you kind of got to see some of those pass through, some of them bulge out the back. So it gives you a pretty good idea if you're going to use these things to uh, protect your own life and protect your own uh, gooey bits. That uh, I would, if it was me, I'd go ahead and spend the extra one and get some. Uh, Get a 10 millimeter plate here. Maybe, yeah. even, maybe even 12 millimeters. Hey, step it up. But uh, yeah, if you're going to protect your life, go ahead and opt for the bigger stuff. Because of course, you never know what you're going to be shot with. So. And, and you can always add more stuff to it. Paper, sure. uh, metal plates, a uh, six millimeter, ceramic dish. Yeah, a six you millimeter know, everything you add is going to help. Right. Everything. Put two of these guys together and uh, duct tape them together. You got a pretty good little piece of... Yeah, but it still won't stop. A rifle round. No. None of these are going to stop a rifle round. Why even test that? Because we all know that's going to pass. We, right we tested that with when I was with Danny, and it, the bullet went through everything, every single plate that they sent us. Yeah, rifle rounds are just too high speed. They are designed to defeat barriers like this. They will go through soft body armor. They will go through things that are not made to be armor, and they're usually only stopped by level 4 rifle plates, whether they be ceramic or steel. So... Anyway. Or that new plastic stuff. Yeah, the new plastic stuff. <laughs> that plastic stuff, whatever. I'm wait until... Uh, High density polyethylene or whatever. That, anyway, folks. There it is. I hope you're happy now. They didn't yeah. realize we were going to do the part two of these, apparently. Yeah, and they were, they'll oh, never be happy. They'll never be They're happy. never happy. What's uh, wrong with them? They'll be happy. We got a lot of good commenters down here that uh, come by with some awesome... Awesome feedback. We like that. We like your questions because that gives us ideas of what to shoot next. Yeah, stop and, being a grouch. Yeah, we like the positive feedback. Yeah. Nobody it, likes to hear a bunch of bitching and complaining. So <laughs> any kind of test like this, folks, any I know you want through, attention, yeah. but you can get positive attention and people Just will like you. Run upstairs from the basement. Your mom's got lasagna ready. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, hot pockets are fresh out of the microwave. Anytime you're doing a little backyard test like this, any YouTube channel that's not perfectly 100% scientific, there's going to be little things wrong. That's kind of not the point of this, is to have a 100% airtight test. It's just to have some idea of what these things are going to do in real life. So, yep. we're not in a laboratory. We don't have, uh, you know... We don't know what velocity rounds they're using in China seven. or in Hong Kong. Seven. They have no idea. Right. So, Chinese. we had to do a low velocity and a really high velocity just to sh get a big envelope there yeah and of course people have chimed in and they say well the chinese are using uh, semi-automatic nine millimeter pistols we do know of course that they're still using old smith and wesson 38 pistols um, we do know of course that they have sub guns with nine millimeters so they've got assault rifles with uh five five six rounds so yeah yeah there's no telling there's no putting this they stuff probably on. have shotguns with buckshot and you know there's no telling what you're going to get shot with. It'd be nice if they'd uh, let you know ahead of time, email you, <laughs> and let you know what they're going to shoot you with. Yeah, we're going to be using the 9mm plus P round nose. Uh, huh, I think I'll check out my 10mm plate today. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Well, thank you to Doug for helping us out with the protest. You guys be safe out there, and we will see you on the next video. Sun's going down, and we got to get out of here before we get stuck. Uh,